it's really good, it's 124 gram, 64 half. And if it's just, if it's just okay or just good, then you know, it's 54 half, 104 whole gram. And what makes heroin good or not good? Fentanyl, no fentanyl, if it's been cut or not cut. And what is fentanyl? Fentanyl is a drug that people have been using basically to spike heroin to make it stronger. So it's so strong it might cause a lot of ODs, overdoses. Did you actually use heroin at one point in time? I did. And did you use a lot of heroin? I did. So are you familiar with the pricing of heroin and the terminology used to describe it? Yes. How much would drug customers typically purchase at a time when they bought heroin? Well, they would, from my experience, they would get a lot of people's money together and come down and buy drugs for them. So it could be anywhere from five to 20 grams. It could be two grams. It could be three and a half grams. It varies, but a lot of people don't like coming to the hood. So they'll get everybody money together and bring it down to get as much as they can. Could it sometimes be less, sometimes half a gram? I never really seen that too much. It's usually at least two or better. How many people would typically, I'm sorry, let me ask that a different way. How many members of MMP and 5200 boys would typically be out selling drugs each day for the gang? Oh man, on a, on a good day with good weather, it could, be, it could be 50 of us out there. You know, just everybody got either dope, coat, or bowl. You know, everybody's selling off the phone and people catching plays on the block. So it's enough money to go around. And what's a play? A play is basically, it's the same thing as a customer. A play, a costy, a wifey, a friend. How much heroin, sticking with heroin, would you estimate the MMP members and 5200 boys were selling at BP gas station and surrounding area per week? If you had to guess, just ballpark. Objection, Your Honor. Objection. Sustained. You can rephrase it, but he's got to have more foundation. Sure. Sure. I believe you mentioned that you think that most you sold in one day was 60 grams. Yes. And you said that there could be up to 50 people out there on a given day selling. Yes. And so just doing some mental math, if you multiply 60 grams times 50 people, would that be 300 grams per day? Sometimes a little more. Try that math again. Sorry. I'd interpose another objection. We're speculating here. I think as to the amounts. You've laid the foundation for him, not as to the other possibly 49 people. Sticking to what you personally saw with your own eyes, how much did you see sold on a given day? To be honest with you, I never kept count, but to my best ability, I would say at least, at least a kilo. Objection. It's still speculative. Overall, he's going to give a minimum. Go ahead. At least a kilo. Of heroin? On a weekly. A heroin. On a weekly basis? On a weekly to a week and a half. It could be between everybody all together. Could it be less? It could be, depending on the day. But it was a lot of dope. Who would you get your heroin from? I got I got heroin from Bo. I got some from Gata a lot of times. Did you did you ever purchase cocaine from anyone in the gang? Yes. I purchased cocaine from T Roy. What's the most heroin that you ever got from Gata? From Gata, I think about at one time a hundred grams. And did you ever get heroin from Bo? Yes. I got about twenty five to thirty grams maybe from one time. Were you ever arrested with drugs? This time recently, yes, on this case, in my house. What about before that, in 2015? Were you arrested with drugs at one point? Or were you pulled over with drugs at one point? Yeah, I was pulled over with drugs on me. And who were you with? I was with one of the mobsters, Kane. I'm showing you government's exhibit, IND-61. Who's that? That's Kane. And when you got arrested with heroin with Kane, do you remember how much it was? I ain't get arrested. He had 50 grams on him. We both just got some dope from Bo. And he wanted he wanted to go out Dundalk. He said it was it was a lot of money out there. He wanted to show me what it was about. I took him out there. We ended up getting pulled over. I put mine in the crack of my butt. And he tried to do the same. And it was 
He had more dope than me, so they found it and locked him up. Did you ever get heroin from SP or Spittle? No, not that. Not that I could be called, no. How much would you... How much would you pay for heroin per gram when you bought it from someone like Gutter? Well, he was fronting to me, and it would be like 70 a gram. Was there a way that you could... Well, so if you... If you bought heroin for $70 a gram and sold it for $120 a gram, you might make as much as $50 profit per gram. Is that right? Yes. And is there a way that you can make more profit off a gram? Yeah. You can cut it and put it back together, like re-rock it and sell it as raw heroin, but it's not really raw. What does it mean to cut it? You can cut it with anything, quinine bonita. You can cut it with fentanyl and then just rock it back up. What does it mean to rock it back up? Put it into a compressor machine to make it back hard again. The raw heroin, usually a lot of the sales like it when it's real chunky. They don't like it like powdery because they know it's been tampered with. So we'll put it in a compressor machine. There's a lot of different ways to re-rock it. The MMP members have stash houses or locations where they stash drugs? Yeah, it was, stay it was a few stash houses around there. What about gutter? Did he have any stash locations? Well, in 2012, his baby mother was a stash house on North Avenue. What about in 2015? 2015, it was a stash house down the street in the Blue Fountains, and he had the barbershop. And what was the barbershop? The barbershop he said he had bought from the dude that, the previous owner, and it was his barbershop now, and he used to have coke and guns in there. And where, where was the barbershop? right on the side of the BP gas station. What about Bo? Did he have any stash locations that you knew of for heroin? I only knew about the one, like down near Rogers Avenue, Blue House I went to one time. And what time frame was that in, if you recall? If I'm not mistaken, it may have been 2012. May have been 2012. And do you remember any more specifics about the stash house? He had guns in there. He said the dude breaks his guns down and cleans them for him, and that was really it. It was a blue house. It was near CBS. That's all I can really recall. What about SP or Spittle? Did he have any stash locations? Yeah, he had a stash house with a dude. I think his name was Pee Wee, and that's really the only place that I could recall. And then what about the defendant, Dirt? Did he have any stash locations that you knew about? This bar was in Norwood. And is that the... The trap house. Was that pictured in the exhibit that you saw earlier? Yes. I'm going to approach and show you government's exhibit MIC-9. Your Honor, may we approach? All right. Your Honor, I did get this exhibit in Discovery, but I didn't know until this morning they were going to use it as an exhibit. And I asked her to alert me so I could talk to you first, Your Honor. I don't think he can authenticate this photo. I don't think he was the photographer or he was ever there. So I don't think he can actually authenticate the photo. This appears to be a picture of two individuals in striped shirts at some location pointing at some items on the table. What do you expect him to say? I expect him to say that he does recognize these two individuals and he'll be able to identify them. And I believe that he also recognizes this location as one of Dirt's trap houses. And, Your Honor, he wasn't actually there he didn't take the photograph, but he has to be there to say this is a true and accurate photograph or accurately represents what happened. He doesn't know if it's been altered or whatever happened to the photo, Your Honor. He wasn't actually there, so he can in no way authenticate this photo. It could be altered. There's no way. If he had taken a photo or if he was there, he could say, oh, this is a true and authentic photo taken on this date. I was there. I know it's true. There hasn't been any changes or alterations to it. Since he wasn't there and didn't take the photograph, he cannot authenticate the photograph. There's no way to know for sure if it's authentic. Your Honor, I think I would plan to approach and show it to him first. But I think that if he does say that he's familiar with this location and recognizes it and the individuals in it, then that would be enough to authenticate and that any issues regarding alleged alteration or forging would go to, you know, could be addressed on cross. Your Honor, again, it will go to the... Even if he identified the place, he can't authenticate the photo. No, I think the... 
what she's suggesting is that he can say that he recognizes, if he does, the people in the photograph and the location looks to be like whatever he thinks. I would still object, Your Honor, but it looks like, I mean, that would be speculation. So I would still object, Your Honor. Okay, well, I will rule it, depending on what he says and what he says on direct. Okay, and we're not going to publish it until we establish. Yes, she'll just show it to him first and see what his answers are first. Okay, thank you.